Hi everyone. Uh, today, our group, we are going to present about garbage separator image classification. So let's see the agenda first. Today, uh, we are going to talk about five parts. Start from introduction, procedure, result, conclusion, and improvement. How many of you guys know that in Thailand, we have a large amount of waste up to 27.4 million tons per year. There are many standpoints we can analyze this problem from. To start, Thai people are not well educated on what recycling is and how an individual actions can make a difference. Just very few Thais are surprised by the fact that there are no dead battery disposals and the waste majority is not concerned at all in throwing everything in the same bin, regardless of the harm it can do the env environment. The lack of attention to this subject has led to open air, roadside and empty lot dumps popping up around the city. Bangkok has an abundance of unmanaged landfills multiplied over the years that are not only a hazard to the environment, but also to the nearby inhabitants. Unmanaged garbage usually harm the city in two ways. It penetrates the surface, contaminating the groundwater, and as it is often illegally burned to solve the problem, pollutes the air with toxic emission, severely damaging the citizen health. And next, I am going to show you guys on an interview of the people who directly involved in this situation. Let's watch it together. There are a lot of trash and waste in Thailand. ได้เทลุมกันจริงนะครับใช่เทแล้วต้องอัดเท่าอัดเท่าไงมันต้องเทรวมบางอย่างก่อนอันไหนที่มันจะพอแยกได้ก็ให้แยกอันไหนถ้าแยกไม่ได้เราก็ต้องกบฝังเลยต้องเทรวมเสร็จเขาก็จะแยกพลาสติกแล้วก็แยกอันที่เป็นกระดาษแยกไปแยกไปจะเห็
Next is the result. So as you can see in the video, we input a plastic bottle to the camera, then the servo motor move to accordingly. As we change and input a cardboard box, the mod servo motor move its direction to the cardboard box. Is the world model always move accordingly to the object that we put? So let's talk about the result. First of all, we want to talk about the, our training data. We have uh, 300 images which are 100 plastic images, 100 aluminum can images, and 100 carbon box images. So we separate the performance into three groups. First one, we test the performance by using the same items from the training session, but different angle. We found that the model can predict really accurately nearly to 100%. The second type, we change to the new item which is different from the training session. We found that the accuracy is still acceptable, but for some items with the different shape or different color, it can be confused the model. And the last one, which is our big problem in our group, which is the performance with different background. Since in the training session, we use the white background. So if you use different background, the color from the background can confuse the model. And model will predict really randomly. So our accuracy will drop down really significantly. Here is our example. We can see that from the bottom, uh, it is the current box uh, and the model can predict correctly as a paper. But at the top, we can see that it has a many color like white, black, red, and brown. So the model can predict incorrectly as the aluminum. This problem occurred because our training data is too small. So it can misunderstand of the model. So let's talk about the conclusion uh, about the performance. The model can perform really well only in the certain conditions. Next, we have uh, two big problems. First one, the background has an impact on the performance. And the second problem is that the number of training images and the variety of item is not enough. And the last one, we plan to improve our performance by two methods, which we talk later in the future plan. So we have three future plan. First one, we want to improve our algorithm by make the AI can be able to detect only an object from the background. The second one is we want to fetch more data sets in order to increase the quantity and the variety of the training data. And the last one in terms of implementation, we want to integrate our system into the robot's arm in order to put the trash into the correct bin. And we, so we can solve the problem that we already said in the first slide. And that is our robot, robotic project. Thank you.